as always, when we come into our space for Qigong, we want to let go what happened before and what's coming next. We want to be here in the here and now. And if you ever wander from that, just ask yourself the question, where am I? And your answer is always, I'm here. Inhale your arms up to the side. Exhale them down and through. This time, inhale the arms up. Bring the palms together and bring them to heart center, gazing at the fingertips. Release one hand with the other in a loose fist to greet it. And set the intention really to focus on the here and now. Overthinking and worry are tied to our digestion. And it's a two-way cycle. When we overthink and worry, we harm our digestion. And when our digestion is weak, we overthink and worry. There's this very intricate connection. So let's do what we can for our mind and our body today. Release the hands down, palms down, breathing. We're really gonna focus on the earth element today because the earth element is our digestive element. Bringing in abundance of nutrients to our body just as the earth nourishes all of the plants. Feel energy coming up through your hands and your feet as you inhale. And as you exhale, let any worries or digestive pains flow back down to the earth to be recycled. And just gaze softly in the distance as you breathe. We'll check your alignment here, then feet are rooted down. The knees are slightly bent, the pelvis slightly tucked forward. The spine lengthens up, the shoulders relax down, the chin is slightly tucked. Long, slow, deep breathing, in and out the nose. Try and inhale at least for four counts and exhale at least for four counts. If that's difficult, just a gentle breath. Remember, if your mind wanders, where am I? I'm here. We'll do two more long, slow, deep breaths. go through the practice I will be helping you synchronize breath with movement and if at any time that feels stressful and you're thinking about it just do a gentle breath in and out your nose we're going to begin warming the spine warming the body by knocking if you um, are in a chair or in bed you can just knock in the front from side to side and then knock on your hips but we're gonna be rotating. Now today, keep the head centered with the chest. Don't turn the chin over the shoulder. We're really working and focusing on massaging our digestive organs, which are <laughs> all of our organs in some way contribute to digestion, whether processing the food, separating what's clear, what's needed, what needs to be waste removing toxins, fluids and solids, separating. It's so much involved. The main though, today we're focusing on the spleen and stomach. We'll talk more about them in a little bit. When you knock in back, just make sure the back of your hand 
hits gently, slightly across the spine. On the other side, we're doing a little bit more of a knock here on the back. do a few more times and then slow it down. Good. Hopefully you can start feeling that opening. Side bends. Bring one hand, the back of the hand, to the back. The other hand comes up and over. If your shoulders are still tight, if you haven't been practicing yet with Qigong, you can just have the hand touching on the shoulder or just lifting straight up and then coming over. But if you're able, inhale, make sure that your knees are bent, pelvis tucked, lift up, exhale, bend to the side. Here, we create space for our digestive organs on one side and compress on the other. A beautiful massage. Inhale up, switch your hands. Exhale, bend. Your gaze is on the floor, about 40 degrees in front of your toes. Inhale. in this expansion and compression. Picture your organs, send them a little love, and come back to center. And now we'll do some just gentle twisting. We'll do some more intricate twisting in a little bit, but we're gonna do single arm pushing forward. You'll have one hand in a loose, both hands in loose fists, but you're gonna press forward fingertips together, thumbs spread wide, as you turn and look at the back shoulder, back elbow. Curl the fingers on your inhale. Exhale, press and turn. Look at the back elbow. One more time each side. We're still warming up before we get to some of the postures. Inhale, exhale, focus on the elbow. Inhale, and release. Let's do a little shaking now. We wanna open, especially focusing on the legs today. We want to open the flow of energy, shake up. And then even on the arms, our small intestine points run up our arms on the pinky side. So really important, our liver and kidneys and run up the legs, the large intestines on the thumb side of the arms. So we want to make sure there's no blockage in these energy channels so our organs can digest our food clear any stagnation. Last one. And close your eyes and go within. It's so calming for the mind to tune in to your body. What do you notice? What do you feel? There might be a buzzing and tingling sensation. There might be just a warmth, an opening. Open your eyes and we'll do um, four natural respiration to end our warm up. Inhale out. Exhale down through the nose if you're able. Inhale. Exhale. 
keep the shoulders relaxing down. This brings blood to the mind so you can calm the mind as well. Last one here. And now we're gonna open our chi. Um, the fingertips are up right here by the lower abdomen, just below the navel. And we're gonna inhale them to the heart and then exhale back down. Inhale, the knees are straight, but as you exhale, you bend the knees. This just opens the energy in all of the organs in the fascia that connect the organs, clearing stagnation. So everything works beautifully. Inhale up, exhale lower. Your stomach, spleen and pancreas are the first most important digestive organs. The spleen needs to be at the proper temperature like the burner of a stove. If it's deficient or stagnant, you don't have enough energy or heat generated for the stomach to have the proper microbiome. And then it can't do its job of breaking down the food. So we want to clear stagnation. And you can picture under your left rib cage near the front and back, your stomach and spleen and just Notice this calming of energy there. We'll do a couple more. Remember rooting the feet down, the pelvis slightly tucked forward keeping a long straight spine, exhale down. Bring the feet about um, shoulder width apart. We're gonna do Master Wong sweeps the waters. Both palms are facing forward, shoulders are relaxed down. The back thumb is up, the front thumb is pointed down. We're going to inhale, sweeping across the top of a pond in which we stand, moving rose petals across the water. Switch the hands and exhale, rotating the other way. Keep the hips and knees forward, just rotating at the waist, shoulders. Inhale, sweeping through this warm, nourishing water. Switch the hands, exhale. Remember, we're inhaling and exhaling through the nose. If you need, just do a gentle breath. These long inhales and exhales are important to work toward, but if you're not there today, that's okay. Exhale back. Inhale. Switch. Exhale. When all of the masters came to the West in the 20th century, one of the main things they noted is that we don't breathe, focus on low, long, sleep, deep breaths in our exercise, and we don't twist. Twisting is so essential for our health and especially our digestion. We'll do two more.
going to bring our feet back to hip width apart and we're going to do two versions of pebble in the pond. It's the earth element posture and the five elements flow. There's two-handed and single-handed. We're going to do the two-handed, then we're going to do the standing breathing posture for the earth element, and then we'll do the single-handed. Again, if your mind wanders, bring it back to your body, to the presence of your feet on the earth, the movements that you do. We're gonna bring our hands, the fingers together, thumbs spread wide, and we're going to exhale as we slightly bend the knees and press forward in front of us. Inhale, scoop as if you're scooping up water from this pond, drawing it in and up into your organs. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, draw in, scoop in. Exhale, press. Inhale. And you're not really leaning forward with the upper body too much. Just reaching forward. We want that spine straight to let the energy flow. Inhale. Earth is about abundance and nurturing. The nurturing the earth gives to us through our food. And the nurturing we give to others. Most of our worries are about others, right? Um, often, not always. And so when we can calm and slow the mind, we'll gain more from our food. Our digestion will heal we can focus on just what's here right now. of your feet. This light energy moves up the inside of the legs and the inside and outside of the arms, moving into the spleen, the stomach under your left rib cage and your large and small intestines. As you exhale, Picture stagnant color, whatever that is, leaving those organs into the earth through your feet to be recycled. Inhale again, drawing energy in, yellow like a daffodil. Exhale, the stagnation continue at your own pace, breathing in this healing yellow light and clearing blockages, worries, stagnant energy. Don't get 
stuck on the thought, let it go. Let it flow out of you and focus again on the light. The beautiful yellow healing energy. One more deep breath. And really let go on your exhale. The earth is amazing. It can handle what you can give it. It's so powerful to recycle and release. Now we're going to do single palm pushing forward. Bring both hands, palms up, right in front of this lower abdomen. And we're going to go ahead and press one palm forward on the exhale. Inhale, draw in. Place this hand underneath the other. Exhale, bend and press. Inhale, draw in. This hand comes underneath. Exhale again, feel the water and the energy you draw in for this earth element, for your spleen system, the spleen, the stomach, and the pancreas. The deep breathing is really important for the large intestine that's tied to the lungs. There's, there's related organs. Exhale, press. Inhale, draw in, smile. This beautiful movement. channels that run through the legs a little bit more. The spleen channel runs on the inside of your legs, the liver as well, the kidneys. So lots of digestive energy we need to nourish and open. And just focus on the smooth movement of your body. You might be a little jerky if you're just starting Qigong. We tend to have very abrupt, harsh movements throughout our day in our exercise. And we need to slow and smooth that movement to allow our energy to move smoothly as well. So it takes practice. It's okay if you're not there. Exhale. Inhale. We'll do one more each side. here, feet solid, rooting down, knees slightly bent, the pelvis is slightly tucked forward so the perineum roots to the earth, the spine elongates and shoulders rest down. Bring your hand below, just right into the sternum, right between, the, right in the center part of your chest. We're going to do 
four small circles. You're gonna go to your left first, okay? So go get your left in mind, because it'll look different for me. I need to massage the proper direction as well, so I don't wanna confuse you. And let's do four small circles, pressing in one, two, going to bring this big across the abdomen, massaging down that left side, across the lower abdomen, up the right side, back to start. That's one. Really press firmly. This is great to do after you eat, two. Although after you eat, you'll do 36 <laughs> massage this way. And then the other as well. That's three. And four. Now we're gonna go to the right first, going the other way. part of the thumb up to the top of the shoulder and then we'll massage the small intestine up the pinky side of the outside of the arm so we're gonna just stroke up with the palm or the knife edge of your hand whichever feels best we'll do nine one two three for the small intestine. It's easiest if you lift the arm up, or if you want, you can put it down and stroke up. So whatever works. We're going right to the back of the shoulder along this top side of the pinky edge. One, two, three, intestine on this side for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, small intestine for six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Natural respiration to end. Inhale. Bring your hands to your lower dantian. Step the feet side by side. The palms are on top of each other at the navel and pointing down. Close your eyes and just rock and sway. Go within. What do you feel here? your hands, open your eyes. Thank you for your beautiful energy that you bring to the community and that you share with me. I'm honored to be able to share this practice with all of you.